Dr. Schoenfeld showed that you don't have any benefit performance-wise from the general warm-up. And unless you really need it, like it's fucking just super cold outside and even a specific warm-up isn't good enough, I would say be careful on wasting too much time with a general warm-up. One of the things that happens in fitness is there's really good stuff baked into the fitness cake. And every now and again, we add ingredients just on fluff alone. They don't make a whole lot of sense. One of the major uh, kind of sources of fluff is increasing the complexity and duration of your general warm-up because of reasons. Some guy will, if he foam rolls his elbows, it's night and day and then he can do skull crushers. But that's just that guy's fucked up. You see it and he's an advanced lifter. You're like, fuck, foam rolling, bro. Everyone's got to do it. You start doing it. You take your general warm up and you do elliptical. Then you do some kind of box step ups. Then you do some Pilates stuff. Then you do dynamic stretching. 45 fucking minutes later, you're like, it's time to work out. Motherfucker, your workout's over already. You got to go back to the office. So the general warm up is just not necessary if you do a specific warm up. So what I do in the gym, I come in, I do some arm circles. I do because I'm Russian. I got to do some side bends and stuff. And then I just go 12, 8, 4 first exercise. After the first exercise, I'm generally warm as fuck. I'm fucking sweating mm -hmm. and then I'm fucking golden. So you can do a general warm up if you want, but I would say for folks listening, you don't have to. But a specific warm up, 12A4 or something like it, the basic reasoning is just slightly lighter weights, go to heavier weights, 